It seemed like USC was always going to be the school for Brew McCoy, although he did go through the process and, and looked at other schools, took other visits, and really did his due diligence. When it came down to the end, it was USC and Texas, and the Longhorns gave a great fight. Everything that they could possibly have done, they did. Um, he had a great relationship with Drew Maringer, uh, their position, his position coach at Texas. But really, as he looked at his recruitment in the final days, I think USC won out for numerous reasons. One, he believed in the offense that Cliff Kingsbury was going to bring there and how he was going to be used in it. Uh, two, I think he talked about the power of the alumni base and the power of the degree at USC as winning out uh, the opportunities he'll have, if not in the NFL, in Los Angeles, uh, will be un unparalleled. Uh, anywhere else where he could have gone in his recruitment. And three, I think the comfort level there played a huge factor. He has uh, his former quarterback, JT Daniels, is the presumed starter next season. His current quarterback in high school, Bryce Young, a 2024 star, is committed to USC. So all of those things really played at the biggest factor. USC is loaded at wide receiver next season, but Brew McCoy is good enough to get on the field early. I think that's going to play a factor as well. And I think him in that offense of Kingsbury, where they're going to throw it around, they're going to use their receivers, and they're going to get the ball outside, uh, was all, all of the factors that played into his decision for USC winning out.